All right. In this video, I'm going to isolate the dorsal marginal zone from gastrulous stage Xenopus labus embryo, from a single Xenopus labus embryo. Here I am sorting out some embryos to start with. I'm going to have a selection of wonderful embryos to, to begin. I'll pick these three. I'll transfer them into my um, working dish um, with a Pasteur pipette. At this point, um, I'm going to place a uh, backstop into that dish so that I have basically a third uh, location, um, a third hand uh, in the microsurgery steps to follow. Um, at this point, I'm going to take off the Vitellin envelope uh, with the blunt forceps in the left hand and a pointy forceps in the right, um, and uh, inspect the embryos for which ones I want to actually um, dissect. So I take a look at them, roll them over, line them up, uh, see if the, the, make sure that they're all the same stages, uh, and then I like the middle one best. I'm going to move that into the dissection field um, so, um, so that I don't have any uh, damage to the plastic. At that point, I'm going to identify where I want to make my first cut, uh, measure twice, cut once, um, at this point, I want to make these two cuts at 90 degrees each from the, from the middle of the bottle cells. I then cut across the animal cap, uh, and I have this large piece of ectoderm there on the top. I'm scraping away to remove some of those inner, uh, inner mesenderm cells that remain um, at, in that, uh, on that explant. Uh, now, at this point, I've removed the explant from the embryo, and I want to scrape off those sort of large vegetal endoderm cells uh, really sort of cut using the backstop as an indicator of thickness that I want to work at. At this point I'm going to be trimming up the explant, uh, tidying it up, removing that animal cap portion, um, sort of uh, cleaning it up a little bit. Um, and then finally I want to move it to a clean part of the dish and inspect it to make sure that the explant is symmetrical and there aren't any wounds on the surface and there aren't 